What we do here is go back, 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 back. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Mello. Now the rap game has had its fair share of white male rappers. Eminem, Macklemore, g Easy, and Jack Harlow just to name a few. With the exception of Eminem, it seems as if some of these rappers careers went just as quickly as they came. So what happened? Let's start with a little background information on Macklemore. Formerly Professor Macklemore, Macklemore is an American rapper, singer, and songwriter. A native of Seattle, Washington, he started his career in 2000 as an independent artist and released three works, Open Your Eyes, The Language of My World, and The Unplanned Mixtape. He rose to international success when he collaborated with producer Ryan Lewis as the duo Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. Macklemore's and Lewis's singles thrift shop, Future and Wands, reached number one on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 in 2013. It says the single was dubbed by Billboard as the first song since 1994 to top the Hot 100 chart without the support of a major record label. Their debut studio album, The Heist, was released on October 9th, 2012 and charted at number two on the US Billboard 200. It goes on to say the duo won four Grammy Awards at the 2014 ceremony, including Best New Artist, Best Rap Album, Best Rap Song, and Best Rap Performance. It seemed like Mac Macklemore was on top of the world with no end in sight. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. I think one night in particular changed the course of his career. And that night was the 2014 Grammys. Now, when Macklemore would go on to win Best Rap Album over Kendrick Lamar's Good Kid, Mad City, that decision would go on to spark outrage and conversation in the black community as to how Macklemore could win over Kendrick Lamar. And how could a white man as a whole win a Grammy for Best Rap Album? Even though it was clearly white privilege that made Macklemore win this award, we ain't gonna talk about it. Macklemore would then later go on and express guilt about winning his Grammys. In an article from Complex, Macklemore can be quoted as saying, it wasn't just the Grammys that we won. I'm looking at the shelf I have in the corner. We won every fucking thing, he said during a recent appearance on the People's Party with Talib. There was a big conversation around whether or not we should be in the best rap album category. And I'm like, well, what the fuck? Do I not rap? Is this not a rap album? I get that there are pop sensibilities. I get that there are unapologetic pop moments, but is Jimmy Lovin' not a rap song? Is make the money not a rap song it goes on to say macklemore also explained that the system he was calling out his whole life is what ultimately led to the heist winning over good kid mad city again that system being white privilege but we already went over that and we ain't gonna talk about it he goes on to say i'm struggling with like damn i'm benefiting from the system i've been calling out since i was fucking 20 years old he said of the way the color of his skin facilitated his win here i am at the highest level of artistic merit the grammys and here i am benefiting from the same shit i've been talking about so i was conflicted People want to say it was guilt, it was. He feels guilty about being white. That's so surface level. Was there an error of that? Absolutely. Was that the reason? Absolutely not at the forefront. Now here's where things take an interesting turn for Macklemore. That night Macklemore won his Grammys, he would end up sending a text to Kendrick Lamar. Macklemore said, you got robbed. I wanted you to win. You should have. It's weird and sucks that I robbed you. I was going to say that during the speech, then the music started playing during the speech and I froze. Anyway, you know what it is. Congrats on this year and your music. Appreciate you as an artist and as a friend. After that, Macklemore's career would unfortunately see a decline in support, but the world would eventually move on to another white male rapper. And this time, his name was g Easy. Now, g Easy would go on to release four studio albums. These Things Happen, When It's Dark Out, The Beautiful and Damned, and his fourth, These Things Happen Too. During his run, g Easy was able to produce many smash hits. Me, Myself, and I, and No Limit being just two of those hits. For a while, it seemed like g Easy was here to stay, but history does have a tendency to repeat itself. Here's what g Easy had to say in an interview with Billboard. You've been away for a little while. You had the deluxe album that came last year, and yeah. now you're back. What's been up? What have you been up to these last yeah. years, I guess? It's uh, <laughs> not only was it a tumultuous time for a lot of us, everybody, pretty much, you know, you know, I went through some personal things with losing my mom. And also there was just a bit of a, you know, an overall burnout I think I was going through. I'd, I'd been going and going and going nonstop for over a decade oh straight. God, I mean, yeah. I'd, but we started aggressively trying to like 
you know, tour independently, release music independently. Like it's a grind, you know, to finally getting it going. And then once you once the iron, you know, strike once once the iron's hot, whatever the expression. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, we struck and just kept striking, 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 and just that level of of grind and just like twisting a wet towel to every you. drop. Yeah, it catches yeah. up to you. And I just felt creatively burnt out a bit, uninspired. I just needed that step back. Once that spark hit, it was like, oh yeah, it's over. Like, we found it now, y'all are in trouble. <laughs> now, after the hype for G-Eazy died down, the world would move on to another white male rapper. And this time, his name was Jack Harlow. Jack's popular songs include First Class, which is a sample of Fergie's Glamorous, and his hit song was Poppin' featuring the baby. While arguably people could still say that Jack Harlow was still here, well, no, could you argue that Jack Harlow was still here? Eminem, I feel like we all know, and of course he came out in the 90s. While he is the original male rapper, I didn't go into detail because I feel like we already know him and he is an icon, according to y'all. As history does have a tendency to repeat itself, we should be seeing the next white male rapper pop up in the next year or two. Yeah, give or take. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up or thumbs down if that's okay too. Don't forget to drop a comment down below to let me know your thoughts on this video. What do you think about white male rappers? Are you into them or are they kind of not your thing? And as always, if you're not already, please make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel and make sure to hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos. I hope everyone has a great rest of their day and I'll catch you all on the next one. It's kind of funny how this channel is called Black Man Thoughts, but I just spent the last video talking about white man.